What's good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy, Poe Row. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like a video if you appreciate the content that Poe Row and What's the Numbers I provided. Today we back with another profile piece. This one is on Black Just, real name Cobra Johnson. In this video, we're going to take a look at his years in South Jamaica, Queens, and how he was brought into the Supreme Team, which was a Queens drug crew ran by Kenneth Supreme Griff that made headlines throughout the 80s and 90s for their money and violence. Next, we will look at the main relationships that Black Just had with some legendary rappers of today and also with some well-known street hustlers from all over New York City. Lastly, we will look at the situation surrounding the shooting that caused his untimely death in December of 1999. Cobra Black Judge Johnson was from Harlem, but eventually relocated to Queens. Some say he was born and raised in Harlem and just getting money in Queens. Some say he actually moved and was living there. But one thing for sure is that he is most definitely known for his time in Queens and what he did and was a part of out there. Black Judge was brought into the Supreme Team by a guy named Baby Wise who was a day one member and lieutenant in the organization and hustled out of numerous drug spots in and around Baisley projects. Just started out as a worker in Wise's crew before rising up the ranks to run a crew of his own. As time went on, Supreme would take a liking to Black Just and the two of them would build a close bond with one another. When Supreme went to jail, Black Just would be there to support him financially and to help keep the Supreme team running smoothly. And when Supreme's nephew Prince Miller went to jail, Just along with another Supreme team member named Bimmy would put the team on their back and help build it back up after the leadership of the crew went to jail. It ended up working out as the younger Bimmy and Black Just were able to bridge the gap and strengthen the relationship with the younger local dealers that Supreme had no time for. Also around this time, Black Just was hanging out with a bunch of well-known street figures and rappers that had love and respect all across the city. Some of the names were Rich Porter from Harlem, whose life story was partially shown in the movie Paid in Full. Another was Demencio Benson, a known hustler out of Brooklyn who lost his life in Washington DC after being shot at a basketball game. Some of the rappers Black Just knew were L Cool J, Nas, and a young 50 Cent. One of the stories that always stood out to me was the ones about Black Just and Rich Porter setting up basketball games for money in the middle of the hood in the late 80s into 90. This is before social media or the internet, just a bunch of kids and young adults from the hood who at the time were driving some of the hottest cars, wearing thousands in jewelry and clothes, and making more money than they could count. Another story about Black Just is that he was supposedly the one who got 50 cent in the boxing gym where he learned to use his hands and would end up beating up a few people in his neighborhood. A big hip hop fan, Black Just was very involved in the mid 80s and 90s hip hop scenes, going to all the parties, events, and hobnobbing with rap superstars to be. Blackie as he was called on the team was known to hang out in Harlem a lot and used to go to all the trendy clubs of the era like the Rooftop, Latin Quarter, and the Tunnel. Blackie was a very smooth character and dresser who was known to change cars like other people change shoes, driving Porsches, Beamers, Benzes, Land Rovers and other luxury automobiles from the 80s and 90s. In 1997 after serving time in prison for a parole violation, Supreme would be released back to the streets of Queens. He would attempt to go legit by getting involved in the movie and music business as well as opening a few local businesses. Supreme and Black Just were still good friends throughout this whole time and would hang out with one another often. During this time, Supreme and another local street figure named E Moneybags would get into a disagreement over a used car. E Moneybags wanted a refund on a car he bought off Supreme, and Supreme was not with it. E Moneybags, a gangster in his own right, took offense to Supreme brushing him off and promised revenge. A few weeks later, as E Moneybags is walking out of the Coliseum on Jamaica Ave in Queens, he spots Supreme parked up in a Land Rover with Black Just. Bags proceeded to shoot up the Rover with bullets missing Supreme and hitting Black Just in his upper thigh. Worried about another parole violation, Supreme would drive to the hood and switch cars before taking Black Just to the hospital. That move would be fatal as Black Just would end up bleeding out and dying. Supreme would be devastated and vowed to get revenge on E Moneybags, which he did by ordering his murder years later. But that's a story for another time. But yo, it's What's the Numbers TV. This was a profile piece on Black Just, one of the most well-known street figures in New York City. He doesn't get too much, you know, talked about because he was part of a bigger team with the Supreme team. It wasn't like he was just by himself like a Rich or Alpo or AZ or something like that. He, like, had, was part of a team, you know what I'm saying? So he don't get as much, you know, acknowledgement and praise as some of the others. But if you ask anybody from that era, they definitely say he's one of the top five street figures from that time. You know, got love in all five boroughs, was able to move around. That wasn't really the case with a lot of people back then. You know, he was moving around the different boroughs. You know what I'm saying? It's to Brooklyn, the Queens, to Manhattan, doing this thing. You know what I'm saying? So this is a quick profile piece on him. Look out for a lot more videos coming in the rest of this month and the beginning of the next month. But show us what's the numbers TV. It's your boy Povro. Go follow the Instagram and I'll be back before you know it. We out of here.
Peace.